Good afternoon everybody. This is a learn to draw lesson with Cindy and this is my first lesson. I am not an art instructor. I don't typically teach people the techniques that I use. I, um, I'm i not exactly... I'm not the best artist in the world. I am, I am your average artist. You'll probably never see me headlining some showcase in New York However, you will see my artwork on a lot of t-shirts because that is my main profession. I am a screen printer and a graphic artist. And I'm going to teach you a few of the techniques that I use on a daily basis. But I'm going to start out with the basic of the basic of the basics. And the main thing that you got to do when you're first learning how to draw is practice, practice, practice. Because with art, it's practice makes improvement, not perfection. Now the first thing that you're going to need are your materials. And the materials that you're going to need are pretty basic. I do not use expensive stuff. I, I do a lot of volume. I, I'm always having to spit out lots and lots of different designs, sometimes multiple things, for multiple people in a single day. So I need a lot of paper and I can't afford to be blowing my entire, my entire budget on expensive art supplies from Hobby Lobby or something like that. So I go to Walmart <laughs> and I buy large packages of copy paper. And this is basic copy paper. Uh, you know, regular stuff. This is, you get 500 sheets at a time for about four bucks or less, which is why I like it the most. Next, get a regular HB number two pencil. I'm not advertising for Paper Mate, but I like these pencils because the lead doesn't fall out. And. <laughs> Next, you need a separate eraser because I tend to use up these little little bitty erasers pretty quick, and you want a pencil sharpener. Those, this is the holy grail. This is all you need to learn how to draw. This is it. Nothing else required. So for about five bucks, because a, a pack of pencils, a dollar, a four pack of erasers, one dollar, fifty cents, plus the copy paper, you're looking at five, six dollars in your setup to learn how to draw. Now, the main thing that you need to learn at first is how to look at objects that you're wanting to draw. Because most people just don't, it, it's not that they can't draw, it's they don't know how to look at stuff to draw it. Now, um, the main thing is learning how to see shapes in objects. Now, this, take this pencil sharpener for example. A lot of people might say, well, I can't draw a pencil sharpener. I can't even draw a straight line. Well, look at this pencil sharpener. There's no straight lines on it. If you want to draw a straight line, get a ruler. That's what they're for. If you want to learn how to draw a pencil sharpener, you got to look at it and learn to see what shapes are actually there. And really, if you're looking on it straight forward, it's basically a square with a curved top and a curved bottom. And the way that you would draw this is just draw a square. This is a simple four-sided square. And then, if you look at it, there's a little curve. Kind of a little curve at the bottom of it. It doesn't sit very flat. It's the only thing that I complain about with it. Then you arch the top here. There's a little halfway point. A little bit above halfway there, where the cap is. And then it kind of shades here, because there's a little bit of a bevel in it. But roughly, that's what drawing this pencil sharpener looks like. Now you can draw the guts in it and everything and make it all fancy, but that's the basics. The basics is it's a square. It's a square with a curved top and a curved bottom. Now you might look at that and say, that's not a very good drawing, but most drawings start out looking kind of like that. You don't start out with something that looks like some grand piece of artwork. What you start out with is basically stick figures and line drawings. So, so what you need to know how to draw to start out, you need to know how to draw a circle. Circles are good. Circles are difficult to draw perfectly. I don't draw perfect circles. Never have, probably never will, unless you want to get out the compass or protractor. So, next thing is squares. Squares very important. They're everywhere, all over the place. Uh, circles, squares, triangles. Triangles are in a lot of stuff. It's basic shapes. Now, of course, you don't actually go, you don't actually look at a person and see these shapes. But what, but I'm going to teach you how to see these shapes. 
Ovals, very important too. You see those a lot, especially when you're drawing humans. Because humans are basically a stack of circles, squares, ovals, rectangles, and a few other shapes thrown in to connect everything. And it's what you do after the shapes have been drawn that make it into what it is. Like for example, I'll show you real quick. This is, this is a quick little drawing, and all you have to do is draw circles and rectangles. We're going to draw draw one circle here, circle here, and draw a little back there, little circle there, here's a triangle, and I'll draw another circle right here, I'll draw a little rectangle there, a little rectangle there, a little curly cue, a rectangle, put some, a couple little triangles in here for little toes, That is the beginning of a pig. Now, where you go from here is what makes it a pig. Gives you little nostrils in there. And then this is what this is what you do is is going back over your shapes and adding little curves or little lines, little shaded areas, stuff that makes stuff stand out and look connected. And the way the reason why you want to draw like this with all these different shapes is it helps things to look like it's all part of the same object because you can see where things overlap and that's the most important part too is well it's another important part is you have to see where things overlap in order for them to look correct and as if they are in a three-dimensional space despite being a two-dimensional surface and that's the difference that's that's what you see when when, when you look at somebody and think oh they're a great artist all they really have learned how to do is how to position shapes correctly so that they look like an object that you want it to look like. And that's really all it is. This little piggy there, this little tail, so cute. And then the rest is done with your eraser. Your eraser is a very important drawing tool. You have to have an eraser. Because if you think that you're going to go through and just draw a perfect little drawing every single time without ever having to use your eraser, you will never complete a single drawing and you will get frustrated really quick and next thing you know you're not interested in drawing and you're going back to telling everyone I can't even draw a stick figure. But this is what you do. And see, there's a little pig. And his head's attached and everything. Of course he only has three legs but I'm just being quick. But that's, that is the basics. The basics is learn to see shapes learn to see shapes in everyday objects when you look at a person try to identify the the shapes in their face the shapes in their body and you will see how the different shapes fit together to create different objects and that is the first thing that you need to learn is just once you learn how to see you can learn how to draw so that is lesson number one from Cindy thanks